There's the broken deck and gauge cable. And the spring broke off here. I think I shifted it too fast. You know, to replace it. So, reach in here and get to this side. And then go underneath and put the hook and the frame, the spring back in there. This is what the schematic looks like with the lawnmower. You can see the parts with a spring and a hook. Be careful where you buy it. There are a lot of reports people get them online and they have like a 30 day warranty and they break really quickly. I decided to get one at HD. Came with a one year warranty, has an MTV part number. So I think I'm going to be pretty, pretty satisfied to be able to test it with several mowings this summer. I received a new cable and they're very similar. Got the spring with a little weight to keep the cable from going in. A little black washer, a little clamp, and on this end, the very end looks similar. Although, on the, yep, this round on the end, round on the new one, doesn't have as much lead. And this little gasket is missing. Okay, I was able to cut this off, take this off, but there's no way to get it over here easily, so I don't know really what it does. It just keeps the dirt off the cable, maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm not putting a new one on. Okay, this long arm goes through the hole. Like that. It has to hold on there. Okay? So when you pull it out. Okay, I have that spring with that plate, and now this little bracket here is going to hold this hook device. So here's the end right here. And then the washer thing right here. So this is going to go through this little frame. Okay, I got it through. I'm going to pull that washer. There we go. Here it is. Pull it back on the end of it. So it's just sitting in there now. In this frame. Let me get a little loose on the wire. Now, I need to get this little corner pin thing. Okay, I got it on there. I pushed it on and it locked. Oops, it didn't lock. How about that? Oh, there it goes. Now it's on. Now I'll hold this on. If you take this whole bottom assembly off, the deck, it may be easier to put this on. But I wasn't changing any belt, so I didn't want to do that. Okay. Now on this end, this end of the cable, this little slot has to go into a bracket. And this has to come up and go into a hole. The bracket is right here, and the hole is up underneath here. So what has to happen is you pull a wire up through that metal bracket, and it closes these a little bit, and then they open up and snap into place. You don't just push in from the side. Okay, yeah, see the bracket? I just pulled it up from the bottom, and it snapped in place right there. Now the last thing is to get that wire hooked to this, this uh, PTO and gauge. Okay, got this mounted. I had to take this off because it was too tight here and I needed some more wire. So you got to put this end in first. You can see where the wire goes up right there, that little silver thing. There's a little hole it bends into and it clips on down here. Just comes up from the bottom. Where it goes down the back. Yeah, it goes down the side down there. And underneath here. And then comes up through this little tie wrap. And then in. Put the spring on last.